Awesome, alright, play it. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my talk show. I'm your host, That One Rebel. We're going to be doing a special interview today with better are known as uh, Happy Thoughts. Um, she'll be coming out momentarily. Hope you guys enjoy the interview. Just to let you guys know, it just as a reminder that uh, Happy Thoughts is a mute, so I'm going to be answering, uh, I'm going to be taking the questions and answers. I'm going to be reading it for her. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the interview. And also, near the end of the interview, when I announce and say, hey, I want to take questions from chat, that's when the, the time where you will be uh, typing your questions in the chat. And uh, I'll be reading them for uh, Happy and I. And uh, yeah. All right. Uh, are you ready, Happy? Hit it up, dead guy. Introducing Happy Thoughts. Here she is. Welcome, welcome. All right, you can come down and sit next to me. So, what's up? How, how are you feeling today? Are you good? Are you excited? You comfy? Heck yeah! All right. So. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start reading all these questions that I wrote down. So the first question that I asked Happy Thoughts was, "How did you discover VR Chat? Did you start in desktop or VR? And when was this?" Happy Thoughts answers by saying, "I discovered it through some friends that played it and wanted to come and to play uh, some as well." We started hanging out in desktop, but some of my friends got VR, which made me even more interested. And this is the end. Uh, this is in the end made me play uh, buy VR. Sorry. I got you. No, I'm sorry. I just sometimes I'm illiterate, you know. Anyway, I I I, I agree. That's that's awesome. Like your friends had VR, and you're like, holy shit! They can move their hands. They can dab. They can do whatever. And you're just like, I want to get VR. And now look at you. You got full body. You got you got everything. You got the whole package, you know. Next you'll have eye tracking. You have lip trackers. You have I don't know. You have everything, you know. You have ear trackers. I don't even know, you know. All right. Next uh, question. How did you create your OC, your character? Happy answers by saying, "Well, I gone through several iterations of my current model, mostly as different outfits, but I've also had different hairstyles." That not a lot of people know about. I do my own outfits here and there, but my two current most popular outfits are made with using clothes from other models. Uh, how it's gotten inspiration for these is by using different pictures I found and taking the parts I like from uh, I like from them and then added onto my avatar. So what you're saying is you saw a really cool outfit and you're just like, give me that shit. Yeah, that's basically it, right? You're just like, yo, bitch, give me. It makes sense to me, you know. Uh, next question: How did it feel to be the to be in the mute competition and to be uh, Soda Poppins mute? Happy answers by saying, "I was initially nervous." But I didn't think too much about it because there was no way I was going to win, right? And the soda poppin' has been really amazing and nice so far. I couldn't have, uh, could not have gotten a better partner. Aww. That's so sweet. Next question. Uh, tell me the first time you got into VRChat or a funny story that you remember from VRChat. 
Happy Thoughts answers by saying, It's been so long since I first got into VR chat, so I don't think I remember the first time I loaded in. A funny story though, hmm. I think the most fun I have have is when I'm drunk, but sadly I don't remember those times too well. Wow, that's unfortunate. I think the first time I drank in VR was great. I ended up laying on the floor laughing for at least 30 minutes because I was laughing at myself laughing. Wow. All right, well, real talk, real talk here. Well, okay, what do you drink? What's going on? Oh, I already know the answer is Bacardi. Wow, I, I did my research. It's almost like I'm a talk show host or something. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, but what what kind of Bacardi? Mango? No? Uh, cranberry? I don't know. What what kind of Bacardi you can get? Raz? Oh, Raz. There you go. Raspberry. That's what it was. One of the berries. Okay, I was getting close. All right. How do you feel as a streamer? Or sorry, how, sorry. How did you start as a streamer or a YouTuber? Who inspired you or what inspired you? Happy's answer is by saying, I started out streaming as just a test to gauge the interest. And let's say that it was one of the best things I've ever done. I look forward to hanging out with, with chat every day. And it's what makes me want to keep streaming in the future. I think my friends are what currently inspire me and motivate me to also keep going and to do better. Wow, that's very wholesome. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn down this music. It's a little bit uh, overpowering, the background music. There we go. Uh, thoughts on the future of your chat? Happy answers by saying, Well, I hope the future of your chat is bright, but the way the current updates are going is not making me convinced. I think other competitors are going to, are doing a good job and will be a problem to VRChat in the future if they can overcome some of their own hurdles. I think what you're referring to is that every time this game gets updated, about like 50 things break. It's pretty poggers, to be honest. Not actually poggers, I'm being sarcastic. And I think other competitors, what you're referring to is Chill VR and Neos VR, which uh, I think could be competitors in the future, but yeah, possibly. Yes, Neos is pretty pog, to be honest. I actually played Neos like five months ago. It was actually a lot of fun. Did you play Neos, personally? A little bit? Okay. The one thing that's really cool, if you think having light trackers is cool, in Neos you can have 11 trackers. Like, you can have, like, elbow tracking, knee trackers, I don't know what the fuck, like, shoulders? Like, I don't know what the hell else you track, but, like, you can have, like, way more trackers. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, one second here. Oh, that's right. So I was pulling up Discord so I can read your uh, and, or your stuff. That's what I was doing. Um, how do you feel about your community? Happy answers by saying, I love my community. As I said in a previous question, it is a big thing that is keeping me motivated to keep doing what I'm currently doing. I have no idea how we ended up with such an amazing community, but I love every single one of them, and I hope I can keep having such amazing people around forever. Which, uh, what inspires you to keep streaming and to continue making content? Happy says, well, I'm sure you can guess what my answer will be on this one. Uh, colon three. <laughs> Listen, I'm reading as is written, okay? R word for word. Yeah, I can pretty sure I'm pretty sure chat can guess. Get, chat, what do you think? Why why does Happy want to keep streaming? What what keep what, what, what keeps Happy uh, streaming? Come on, let's come up with some ideas. Money. It's me cuz she likes it because of me smile, not you. Oh shit, dude. 10k a month, the pats, hot anime girl avatars, community love. It's fun, nice vibes. Mutes eat clout. Stuck in Chance's attic and forced to stream. What the fuck? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Wait, what? Excuse me? What the fuck? <laughs> That's a manga W, dude. What the fuck? Um, anyway. Next question. Uh, what is one thing you would change about VR chat? Happy is by answers by saying only literally five words. The security of the game. Yeah, you're you're you yeah, you're right. Uh, actually true. Actually true. The security in this game is uh It's like Swiss cheese, you know. Imagine like uh Imagine just like a giant uh, wall with a lot of holes in it. That's that's basically the security in this game. If you guys didn't know that. It's poopy. Yeah. Cuz let's be real here chat. Why do you think a lot of VTubers don't want to play VR chat? Because when you upload your expensive thousands of dollar model into this game, it gets stolen, right? Why would you want to spend like $5,000 on a super awesome 10 out of 10 uh, Wood Mary uh, waifu, and then basically someone just steals it and says like, now there's a hundred of you, haha, <laughs> he he xd, and you're like, what the fuck? That's not cool. Anyway, uh... Did you ever think you would blow up streaming and get to where you are today? Happy responds by saying, I never thought I'd blow up to the point we are in right now. I hope I can continue to grow like we have been in the future as well because this is honestly some of the best times I've had in my entire life. I don't want it to end. Well, Happy, I don't think it's going to end for a long time. Because I think you're a very happy and positive person. And if you keep doing what you love and cherish, I think you have an amazing time. You know? Awesome vibes. Good vibes, you know? I'm happy you blew up. Because you have very wholesome vibes, you know? You don't have to do all these what these other people have to do. You just chill and have a good time. Play some Counter-Strike. Do some surf maps, you know? Heck yeah. Uh... Next question. What advice would you give to someone wanting to become a content creator? Happy responds by saying, be consistent. Now, that might be a very simple answer, but it's not, she's not wrong. Like, it's the truth. Like, I, I say, people said it to me when I first started streaming, and it's the honest truth. If you, if you want to, like, start streaming, you have to be consistent. I'm not saying stream every day. You can stream, like, once a week or at least three times a week but at least have a schedule you know at least be like all right because you can't just stream like for three months and be like all right fuck i'm quitting oh no, i'm gonna return and stream for two days and then quit you know it's consistent the same thing of youtube okay every successful youtuber and streamer has a schedule of some kind D doesn't matter how dysfunctional they are like i'm sure a lot of people have uh, really bad schedules but at least they make an effort to like at least stream right for four hours or ten hours or whatever they're doing Except Clint. Yeah. There are exceptions to the rule, always. Uh, next question. What got you into dancing and jamming? Happy answers by saying, I just love music in general. So I think dancing is something that just comes from listening to so much music. And I love just hanging out, listening to music with friends. So naturally jamming is a big part of it. Yeah, I mean, like, I think uh, getting into music and especially in VR chat where you can move your full body and, you know, because that's the one thing that's beauty about VR chat, right? Like, in real life, you have to dress up. Right now, you can't because of COVID. But, you know, hypothetically, let's just talk about COVID doesn't exist for like five seconds. Um, you know, you go to the club, you have to dress up, you have to wear makeup or, you know, wear a nice suit or whatever. And you have to, like, you know, Go out there, party, yell, sweaty and stinky, and that's just gross. That's Dan's game. So instead, you can play VR chat and just be a 10 out of 10 anime girl or Chad, and then you just dance with your friends and go to the party. You can literally go to a party every single day and every single second. You know, I can go to a party in VR chat right now if I wanted to. You know? Anyway. Uh, what is something... Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I missed a question here. What was the first thing you did when you got into VR and or full body? Happy answers by saying, I went to my friends when I first got VR to show it off. 
And with full body tracking, I just went around kicking people to once again show it off. Excuse me, you're kicking people? You're fucking doing some fucking karate kicks and shit? What the fuck? You're like, yo, basically, you're walking around and saying, you're poor, get kicked. Fuck you, roundhouse kick, Chuck Norris style, and just started kicking people. I understand now, you know, I, I understand why you're Soda Poppins mute. You had to flex and all your friends. You're like, haha, you're poor, fuck you, idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you. Yeah. Wholesome kicking, though, yeah. Absolutely wholesome. Yeah, like, all they felt was their phantom sense. So they were like, oh, I feel it. And then you're just like, whatever. Yeah. We all know that won't hold up in court. So that's why you did it. What is something you miss about VR chat? When you first start playing and that doesn't happen anymore. Happy answers by saying, hmm, that's a good question. I think that the game has come a long way, so there's not much I miss apart from old friends. But then again, the game has a really long, uh, sorry. Then again, the game has a really long way to go as well if they want to make it better. Oh, you mean old friends? Okay, so I had to reread it in my, in my brain. Yeah, like old friends. I get what you're saying. Like, um, like uh, you know, I've been playing for three years, so there's obviously a lot of people that... Uh, quit a long time ago. It's disheartening. You know, it, it hurts a little bit because you're like, oh, you know, because like, you would get on, right? When I played, and I feel like, you know, you can relate to this, you would get on every day or whatever, and then like your friends would be there, and then one day they're not. And you're just like, what the fuck? What happened? Did I fuck up? Did I like say something cringe or did I like, you know, uh, do something stupid to make them not uh, want to come on anymore? You're like, fuck, you know? My friends, my friends list diminished. Now they're all in private worlds, and I cry myself to sleep every night. But anyway, uh, what, what music are you into? Favorite bands or genre? Happy uh, answers by saying everything and anything, I would say. But I think I currently, my favorite genre is rap. Hey, let's go. Yeah, but what's your favorite? Okay, what's your, uh, what, what you listen to in rap right now? You listen to some Mario Judah? Where the fuck is our Mario Judy, you know? He's a lion. He's a tiger, you know? Hey, hey. Even country, Kona? Yeah, where the fuck is Mario Judy? I don't think I can play that song. I wish I could. I don't know if it's DMC or not, but I fucking would if I could. <laughs> yeah, where the fuck? Anyway. Okay. If you listen to all types of music, do you listen to the Gachi? Okay. Shouldn't it be DMC? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I want to take a risk. Right? Next question. Do you have a waifu you, you crush over? Now, I have to give context to this. I said, uh, example, my wa uh, my video game waifu is Tifa Lockhart. Can be a video game character, anime, or even VR chat friends. Happy answers by saying, not really. I don't really have a single avatar slash character that I like more than anyone else. Damn. You just like everybody. I get you. Uh, it's mostly a question I ask other people because people are like, oh, hell yeah, man. Aerith. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Final Fantasy VII. Oof. Oof. You know? Yeah, no waifus, I guess. Um, next question. What are you grateful for? Happy answers by saying, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity that I've been given, and I really hope I can make the best of it. Amen. Now, that was all the questions that I actually technically answered or, or asked Happy Thoughts. So we're going to start taking questions from Happy. If, if you have any questions for me or uh, we have questions from chat, you can now answer them. So if chat, you have any questions for me or Happy Thoughts or if Happy Thoughts have any questions for me or chat or whatever... You can ask away. When do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I don't know. Being uh, the number one talk show on Twitch. The Scuff Podcast? Get that shit out of here. What are you talking about? VR is the future, bro. Uh, listen, bro. 
I'll it's whatever, man. I'll be number one, number one talk show. You gotta have it, you know. You gotta be ambitious. Yo, what the fuck, dude? No shot. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, train wrecks, dude. Tell Soda Poppin to do more Mew camps. What is something that you can tell us that Soda does not know so we can make fun of him? What is something that he hasn't told you? Well, I don't know. Uh, That's more a question for you, Happy Thoughts. <laughs> what do you have to do to relax? Uh, away from VR? Sit outside in the nice weather. That's what I would do. Hold on, Happy's uh, DMing me on Discord. Actually, yeah, I prefer you DM me on Discord. I'll read it. Uh, because the chat's going to go too fast, so I'm not going to read anything. But if you type me in Discord, I'm literally, I can, I can look at it. I won't get lost. Have you practiced the worm yet, Happy? That's true, actually. Come on. How does it feel to be a wifelet? Yeah, you know what's worse? Like, come on, dude. A wifelet? What about husband lit? Come on, bro. Bros before hoes. Just saying. Should there be a VR feature to have a dance floor or something to pop down in a room? Hmm. I mean, it's possible. Uh, I think Chan does not know that I that I fell and got stick twelve stitches not too long ago. What the fuck? You telling me you hurt yourself and he doesn't know that? The f what? You're 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 injured. You lost hit points. You you have like half the hit points right now, and he didn't he didn't revive you. He didn't give you a health potion. What the fuck? Months ago. Okay, context. Dude, what? That's cringe. Not knowing that your mute got injured and got fucked up? That was before I came to see mute. Oh, okay. Whew, nice save. Listen, listen, it happened before. It happened before. Uh, as happy became, so does mute. Saved. Is there any particular reason happy for being a mute? Do you want to answer that question? It's up to you. I particularly don't ask like a ask that question because it's usually pers pretty personal, right? That's a personal question to ask somebody. But it's up to you, Pappy, if you want to answer and be like, "Yes, this is why I don't talk." Uh, it's up to you. If not, I'll just answer uh, ask a different question. What's up, Bobber? Can Happy teach me how to dance? Yeah. Happy, can you teach Pixel my mute to dance? Heck yeah, let's go. That's a mute date, right? It'd be me, me and Soda on the sidelines, and then uh, we'll watch as you and Pixel uh, dance. And then we'll see who can do the warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Uh, how do you deal with... Some of these questions I can just answer. Um, how do you deal with uh, wearing a headset for hours? Um, you mean like, do you get like headaches and stuff? If, if that... What's that, what's that, uh, drug you can take? I forget what it's called. There's a, it's like for motion sickness or whatever. You can take that. Uh, me personally, I don't have to take any of that stuff for motion sickness. Uh, after about like a couple days in VR, I sort of got used to it. I would play like, I, I would be very like, uh, easy on myself. I wouldn't be like, what's fucking do on this roller coaster, right? You want to ease into it. And then after a while I get used to it. So that's, that's. 
that's how I got into uh, uh, VR. So my suggestion would just be ease into it. You know, play. You know, if you're get, just getting into it, play for like 30 minutes. Take off the headset. Take a break. Play for another 30 minutes, or tomorrow you play for an hour, and then an hour and a half, then two. You know what I mean? You ease into it, okay? A lot of these, like, I'll tell you a story. Some of these, like, more recent streamers, like for example, the <clears throat> GTA streamers. Not to really bully anyone, but uh, some of them immediately like bought VR like the day after playing and getting into the Rob's lobby, and they would immediately put on the headset and immediately just like go like like zero to a hundred and just start like going crazy and a bunch of them got really sick i don't remember who it was but one of them actually like vomited and like like threw up because they immediately like were just like yeah let's go and then they just fucking vomited and i'm just like what are you doing take it easy bro uh i meant the temperature slash sweating on your face oh if you mean like temperature like how do you have a headset on for like 10 hours a day or six or whatever um just cool your room like you got a seal i have a ceiling fan above me open your window got an air conditioner bro you have to cool your room somehow buy a portable fan stick it in front of you excuse me things like that just cool down bro yeah exactly just cool down uh how accurate is your body tracking to see uh how you move do you ever look back on streams to see if anything was way off? I do personally. Do you? Is, is your tracking, like, accurate? This is 100% accurate, okay? Happy Thoughts looks like this, okay? I don't know you're implying, chat. This is real, okay? Anime is real, okay? To tell you the truth, VR and VR chat is literally... Just think about this for a second, chat. VR chat is like your own anime. You write your own stories, right? You can have your own harems. You can have your own, you know, mute partners and stuff like that. You can do whatever you want, right? You write your own narrative. For me, it's being a talk show host. What is a happy favorite dance? Yeah, what's your favorite dance? Oh yeah, the sea walk. Holy shit. Um shuffle slash sea walk. Okay, alright, alright. We can show a case that later on, but if you want to, on that stage over there. The tats under the eyes. Yeah, so explain the tattoos. And the piercings. Gangster tats. No, nah, just... Listen, I want to tell you the real reason, okay? Whatever Happy says, I'll read it. But the real reason why Happy has tattoos is because uh, that's how many bitches she killed. You listen, you cross Happy and she'll fucking... She'll fucking slit your fucking tires, bro. Take out the fucking brake on your fucking car. Don't fucking cross Happy thoughts, okay? Just saying. It's prison tats. Thirteen dead mutes. Holy shit. Yeah, it's true. It's crazy. Oh yeah, I saw something. Oh wait, I'll read this. Oh uh, well there's no real sorry, well there's not really much more than I like the look. I haven't thought up a rp reason yet but most people say it's kill count yeah i just told you what do you mean it's real what do you mean you got those tattoos you fucking killed some bitches you know they fucking were talking shit and they were just like you can't see walk happy and you're like fuck you you well you went you didn't actually see, you mentally thought hey fuck you and then the next time you saw their fucking driving their cars and shit you fucking slit their tires and then like you, you took out the the brakes and so when they're going down the hill and they're like oh shit and they landed up in the fucking ocean and you're just like, that's what you get, bitch. Talking shit, get hit, you know? Mm hmm. Uh, 
Shot him up. Yeah, exactly right. Great mute, yeah. Absolutely. Love you, Happy? Yeah, of course. Happy's a great person. It's true. 100%. You know, Happy, I'm going to be doing a, a Halloween Avatar showcase on Halloween. Do you Are you going to have a uh, Halloween outfit? Oh, shit. Yo, are you guys ready for that? Halloween outfit. Don't tell chat. Unless you already have. It'd be a secret. It'd be a secret reveal. I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think that Happy will be for Halloween? As an outfit. She did? Fuck. Female soda? <laughs> Pumpkin? A giraffe? Mario Judia? What the fuck? I'm gonna be Mario Judah for fucking Halloween. What the fuck is that, dude? What the fuck? A feral druid. I'll reveal it at a at a gator contest. Okay. Boomkin. You be angry thoughts. When is Gator Con? Yeah, where the fuck is Mario Judy? That's the real question, man. Should I just interview Mario Judah next? <laughs> just bring him. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> what up, bro? C get in VR chat, dude. I want to interview. What up, Mario Judah? Where the fuck are you, dude? Uh. Too happy. Are you thinking about making a desk setup to have body tracking and a VR room view for gameplay streams? This is by Callbox Stream. I think uh, what they're referring to is like VTubing stuff, or like I guess what like Project Melody does, because like what she does is she's in like a 3D room, so like she can like she's not using VR chat, she's using like a Unity project. It's like a it's like super big brain five head move, but like it's like she actually can like move her chair and stuff in like VR, and I'm just like, the fuck is it's fucking future shit. Like what the fuck. <sighs> Jesus, makes my, like, set look like a fucking playground, you know? Like a kid playground. I like the song choice. Yeah, it's just lo-fi hip-hop. Copyright free. Thanks, Twitch. Otherwise, I'll be playing F J Mario Judia at uh, fucking full blast. What is your favorite pair of shoes, Happy? Yeah, what you got? You got some Yeezys? Hey, you got some Jordans? What you got? Hey. Yo, we're gonna we're gonna judge you by your shoe choice. Uh, oh, they answered the last question. Sorry. I will. I, I might in the future. Haha. <laughs> that was for the desktop streams. Uh, I love my current pair, but they're, uh, they are a random brand that I don't remember. Oh, oh, sorry. You're just too rich. You can't remember. I get it. You're just too wealthy. You can't remember. I get it. You know, you're just like a hey, whatever, you know, fucking five grand for these shoes. Fuck it. Hey, don't scuff up my Yeezys, bro. That's how you, that, then you'll be number 14 on your, you know, your, you get more tats, you know? That's probably what half of the kill count was. People were scuffing up your Yeezys, so that's, that's a fucking death wish right there. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> to Happy, how do you feel like being more popular than Chance on his own chat? I don't think Soda gives a shit. I think, I think if he's watching right now, I think he'll be nodding and saying, I don't give a shit. Why the fuck would he care? <laughs> he's going to call you poor and move on. He does care? You should see uh, her buff outfit. I was like a bouncer. Oh, you mean well, your outfit 
what you, buff elf i think you're i think they're talking about your outfit you used for um seer and ruby's wedding right is that the buff outfit that's, that's not i wouldn't call that a buff out that outfit i'll call that like well dressed well you got you got some what do you mean you got buff in it you got something you got strong you got some fucking arms and shit kind of Listen, I can show you my workout outfit, okay? I got a six pack, okay? You got a six pack? Yeah, that's right. The mafia suit. Six pack, yeah. Sorry, my chat's like that. Um How do you uh how did you come up with your name Happy Thoughts? While you type that, when it make up a fictional story, so I think the reason why Happy Thoughts uh, named themselves Happy Thoughts was because uh, one day, you know, they were having a pretty mellow day, you know, pretty normy day. They're probably watching some Twitch streams, you know, being like that little Pepe, you know, watching you know XQC, but in instead of those XQC it was like um, what's another uh, uh, relevant name? Soda popping or something. Probably watching Soda popping probably years ago and was like, man, I really just want to be happy, you know? So I'm going to call myself Happy Thoughts. And that's the end of the story. Uh, what? Doki Doki Literature Club reference from one of the poems? Holy sh- Wait. You played the whole game? You got all the endings? You did all the bullshit in that game? No? Did you, you should play it on stream then. Play Doki Doki Literature Club on stream? No, why not? What's wrong with the game? It's a pretty good game. What, are you scared? Listen, Doki Doki Literature Club is what happens when uh, the mutes don't get attention. They go. You know? They don't get the fucking attention, you know? First death, I was over it? Whoa, spoiler. <laughs> Moon dead, Kanoa, Monk W. Don't make me spam you. Oh, are you trying to join me, Pixel? Oh, yeah, but... Yeah, I'm not annoying you, Pixel. The game is literally bugged. The invites are fucked. So you have to restart your game. I'm not even memeing. Like, I... I it, VR chat's fucked. Like, it's just... The, the invites in the game are broken. Anyway. Um... Kanoa equals Monica. Wait. That means that you can cosplay as one of the characters. Is that your Halloween outfit? Aw, uh, 200 IQ. You could play as one of those characters. No? Okay, well, shit. It was like this last night, too. Actually, chat, what, what was your favorite girl from Doki Doki Literature Club? What's your favorite? And Happy too. what was your favorite? Even if you didn't finish the game, what was your favorite character from Doki Doki Literature Club? Listen, I'll say mine was Yuri, too. Listen, I have a thing for uh, sad girls, and, uh, she, you know, she had a lot of plot, a lot of large plot, so it made me very uh, attracted to it, just to be honest. At least I'm true for it, right? I'm honest. What'd you, uh, uh, Sayori. Sayori is the, that was the, the, the neighbor, right? The, like, childhood friend. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Monoma, Monica, of course. You guys are fucking simps, okay? Um, speaking of Doki Doki, Doki Doki, wasn't there supposed to be a sequel for that game, or a prequel or some shit? What the fuck? What's what's gonna be what's gonna be finished first? Fucking Yadari Simulator, or fucking Doki Doki Literature Club Two, or whatever? Like, what the fuck? Let's be real here. Who is the most impressive VR dancer they have ever seen? Most impressive dance I've ever seen? Um. 
Uh, I don't remember their name, but there was a person that actually could do a backflip. Like, in real life. Like, I'm not talking about, like, backflips like, uh, this shit. Oh, I just did it! Holy shit, that was a real... Not like that. Like, an actual real backflip. I saw it. I know Happy's impressed. I have hidden talents. But I actually saw someone do a real backflip in VR chat, and I was blown away. I don't remember their name. It was, like, a year ago. But I was like, holy shit. And they were doing they were doing cartwheels, too. Like, they were doing cartwheels, doing backflips. They were doing, like... I don't even fucking know. It was like, uh... You know, uh, you guys know World of Warcraft, you know, like, the troll male, like, dance? They were doing, like, those flips and shit, and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what? It's a fighting style. Uh, do you plan to learn new dance moves to your portfolio? Yeah, you need to know more than the Crip Walk and, uh... You had to learn the Worm, you gotta learn... I don't know what else. What else do you need to learn? Um... Stanky leg. No, you need to learn, uh... What the fuck? Uh... Oh god, why is my brain farting here super hard? What's that rapper that came to VR chat? Come on, chat. You guys would know. They can't, uh... What's his name? Soldier Boy. Yeah, you need to learn the fucking Soldier Boy, you know? Crank that Soldier Boy. That's what you fucking need to learn. So when he comes and plays VR chat, once the blue moon, you could be like, Hey, crank that Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? Whip and Nene. That, yeah. Dude, Whip and Nene. Come on, dude. The door... The, exit out of the stream right now, dude. What the fuck was that answer? Happy gonna play Cyberpunk? It comes out November 19th, right? I think. I'm down to play it. In this world, there actually is a poster over there that chat can't see, but there's actually a poster of me as if I was in Cyberpunk. It's pretty dope. But yeah, I'm excited. Are you guys excited for Cyberpunk 2077? And what's also interesting, literally a week after of Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be the roleplay in VR chat called Kalos Row Season 2 run by Arcadum. And it's going to be a VR chat uh, roleplay with 120 role players in it. Literally, it's going to, we're basically, the secret, we're secretly going to kill GTA RP. Because let's be real here, we can't, we can't rob banks 50,000 times. Yes. But we got to be able to rob banks and Cyberland, you know? And that's actually funny, because, like, a lot of the no-pixel people, like, a lot of people, I'm just joking, but a lot of the people who actually role-play for GTA are actually going to be in the role-play um, for uh, Kel's Row. Too happy. How long did it take to get the muscle memory down for controlling your avatar emotes? Now, I'll answer that question, then you answer it, but I know it's for you, but to get, like, down, it's not that hard. Like, it's literally, it's like rock and roll. It's, uh, finger point. Like, you just, you know, you, it's, like, obviously you can't see your face, but, like, you kind of know what, what you set it up as, right? So you'd be like, this is for, uh, this thing. This is for this face. This is this for this face. So you can go, like... I can wiggle my eyebrows, you know? Has Happy ever died in VRRP? Holy shit. Sayori Soldier. Yeah, that's what it was. Not too long. Once you learn it, it comes naturally for other avatars. Absolutely, yeah. It's not that hard. You know, you should get a 3.0 avatar because you can actually have 32 gestures. Did you know that? It's pretty dope. I have an avatar that's 3.0. I could switch to it, but uh, I'm doing an interview. It wouldn't be uh, right for me to wear less clothes, you know? I'm trying to be conservative here. How do uh, people move their VR chat avatars eyes in game? Uh, it's just, it's an automated system. So 
the eyes will always track another player. So, like, it's local. So, like, my eyes will always look at Happy, and Happy's eyes will always look at me. It doesn't matter where I am. Like, if I'm up, down, left, and right, it's always looking at me. Unless they disable eye tracking, it's just an automated system. It's not, like, actual, like, their eyeballs are actually looking at me. Does Happy have a 3080? think they mean like winks and stuff oh like the winks that's just an emo like i don't have a wink on mine but like i'm not actually blinking like this is just like you just it's not just it's like a gesture you know it's like an emo you just you know uh not uh not yet it's coming soon that's not the only thing that's coming but yes what cyberpunk it's coming soon literally what? Whoa, chat, come on. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Chat, come on, Coomer's out. Come on, this is a serious discussion here. No, like, uh, you know what's funny? Is that I have that new camera system, the virtual lens, and literally the depth of field, which, like, makes the whole screen, like, you know how, like, you know, makes like the the background blurred. You need a literally a thirty eighty to run that shit in stream. I can't run it. I have a twenty seventy, and I stream, and I get like thirty FPS. My fucking computer explodes when I try and run that shit. I think he's the bugged one. Oh, then I'm bugged then. It's probably my CPU. Actually, it's my GPU because when I looked at task managers, at 100%. You can downscale in the Unity settings. Oh, I did downscale. I downscaled it so far. I put it to one, and I still lagged and still got 20 FPS. It was pretty poggers. I don't know. I even over uh, what do you call it? Uh, fucking what do you call it when you like you make your uh, compute like your GPU go hard. Like you make it work harder, overclocked. So thank you, Chad. I overclocked it too, and I just, and it went from twenty to thirty FPS. So, I just I, my computer can't handle. It. I need a thirty eighty. I need it to be big dick mode, you know. Uh, too happy. How hard is it to? How hard is it for you to manage your time between doing streams, mute cams, and desktop? I'm amazed at how well you can handle it all. Well, I'm going to be honest. I think Happy just lives in VR. No? Okay, well. Until you're 3080, guys. Imagine not having a 3090. Yeah, true. Imagine not spending like $1,500 on a GPU, bro. Pfft, imagine being poor, dude. Imagine. You have 4000 Yeah. Also, plus full-time job. What does the celebrate button do? Well, if you didn't know, that actually uh, what it does is basically you pay money to Twitch to literally shoot emotes on my screen. I forgot to disable it. It's, I don't know. It's something that Twitch did. Poor PC. Pepe laugh. Okay, why are you making fun of me because my computer's not good enough to run the fucking virtual cam? Listen, I'm not going to turn that shit because it would literally crash my stream. It will. It literally would explode. It's a new scam train. What happened at 5K subs? Question to both of you: If someone is trying to get into VTubing, what would you recommend in buying or setting up first? Depends. If you're getting into VR, you'd actually need a VR headset and all that jazz. But if you're just getting into VTubing. All you technically need, is, I think, is like just a webcam because it uses the webcam technology. Like, if you have a decent webcam to like track your face, and that's how it tracks the face. If you want to move your hands like this, you need uh, trackers, or you need the leap motion, which is something you put around your neck, and then it's like inside-out tracking to track your hands. So, um, and they also need an avatar, obviously. So you need to pay someone or make your own by using Vroid or something like that. Um, basically, to get into VTubing is not cheap. You, there are like you could probably become a VTuber for under like a hundred or two hundred bucks, but if you want to go big dick, you're probably gonna have to spend like hundreds or thousands of dollars. Like that's why a lot of like um, VTubers have like the 
debuts or whatever debut like they have like you know they have all this stuff going on all their social media is going on you know it, it takes a lot of time but if i mean the cheapest method i guess would just play vr chat and just like find an avatar and be like hello it's me i don't know right have you seen soda's vtuber model yeah it's uh it's the one where he's smoking and stuff thousands if you want to be a real big dick about it yeah if listen if you don't get a big dick then what are you doing as asmongold would say no he actually has a vtuber model oh he has something different oh okay i, I wasn't informed he has something different okay but never used it hey let's go who was the first person each of you met that introduced you to the gator lobby Fair question. Who was the first person each of you met that interest? Well, for me, I actually knew Rafflegator about three years ago. It was a different time then. It was before he even started the Rail Gator community. It was just him and the Great Puck. He'd even have a world. It was literally just him. And basically, he would uh, wingman people. So basically, you would join his lobby, and then he would basically be like, Hey, you looking for a date? Or, like, hey, that girl, you want to, you know, like, he'll, he'll, he'll hook you up as a... Uh, it's his primary function is to uh, hook you up. So, yeah, I knew pro I knew him way before he did all that stuff, like uh, three years ago. So that's how I got into the the community, and then over time he built various uh, maps. He still does that. Yeah, I mean, listen, doing the same thing if it still works, you know, it's content, right? Uh, too happy. Favorite food from when you went to Japan? Was he a good, a good wingman and did relationships last? Well, while you're answering that question about your favorite food from Japan, I'll answer the question. Uh, well, I mean, if you look at the lobby, you know, like uh, with Bob and uh, Meech, and with uh, who else from Rob's lobby is together in real life? Uh, I think Happy and Dan. Uh, or not happy. Sorry. Um, sorry, sorry. And, uh, Dan, my apologies. I fucked up. But yeah, it was sorry. And, and Dan are dating. I think they live together and Bob and Meech. Uh, so I think, I mean, there's two at least out of probably a hundred people. I don't know. <laughs> hey, it's, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Jakey and Blue? Okay, there you go. Yeah, Jakey and Blue. There you go. Jor and Peppy? Yeah, there you go. There's four. Okay, now it's four out of a hundred. There you go. You got it. Hold on, read this. Uh, Iron. Uh, Gudon. Gudin. Gudon. Gudin? How do you say that? Gudin? Close. I'll just, you know what? I'll use TTS. Hold on. I became, I, I came prepared. Watch. TTS. Listen, I, I can't read. Uh, I'm illiterate. Guden. Guden. There you go. That's what it says. Your favorite food from Japan, Japan is Guden. Guden. There you go. I got it. That's what TTS told me. Uh, I like how Rebel's face looks. He stares at Happy. That's because my computer's over there. I have to take off my headset. You know, Gooden. Happy, did you ask Chance to help with your channel and all the locations, or did he come to you? It said like udon. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to say G Y U D O N. Listen, I listen to TTS, okay? TTS can't lie to me, right? Uh, 
I asked if he could record some voice lines, and he said sure. He was like, sure, I'll help my mute out. Why not? Oh my god, is that a pen? Yeah, like that. Beef udon, basically. Pen. Triangles. The G is very quiet. Google it, chat. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not. I never went to Japan. I never ate any Japanese cuisine. Okay, so I'm uncultured. Okay, uh, I'm in the presence of someone who's very cultured. And I'm. I'm just a. I'm a. I'm a fake. I'm an imitation. I just want to be an anime waifu. What souvenirs did you buy in Japan? Yeah, uncultured. Oh, you eat Wendy's? Listen, dude. I literally ate Wendy's for dinner, dude. Why you gotta call me out like that, dude? What the fuck, bro? Come on, man. All right, I'll tell you a story. Okay, so I'm actually allergic to eggs in real life. That's actually a real thing. No cap, no, no sarcasm. And um, when I order, like, fast food, it's very common, obviously, like, mayo or mayonnaise is a, is a condiment, right? They put on burgers. So, um, uh, whenever I order my parents or whatever, uh, we always ask for no mayonnaise, but when I open, I always check because if I like, if I, if I actually ate mayonnaise, like before this interview, I would be, uh, <clears throat> on the floor foaming. So this interview wouldn't have happened if I ate literally my burger because it had mayonnaise on it. So, uh, because those damn Wendy's workers, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the viewer allergic eggs, the world wants you to die. Uh, 2020 Olympics, New Year's charms, and magnets for my family. Nice. Can't get Wendy's food anymore? <sighs> Listen, man. <laughs> I'll tell you something really sad. When it was my birthday, when I was growing up as a kid, you know, you have a birthday cake, right? It's obviously made of eggs. Imagine having a birthday cake, eating it, and then getting sick every year. Very sick. And everyone's just like, why is this wrong with this kid? It's, just, it's supposed to be your happiest day. And I'm literally in, in bed sick, vomiting. <sighs> no cake. Everybody else is eating cake, and I'm sitting there eating vanilla ice cream. Feels bad, man. What about duck eggs? Never tried it, but I don't know if it's worth the risk. Uh, until I, I, I'm 25 now, but when I was 18, I got tested. And, uh... I was diagnosed being allergic to eggs. And, uh... <laughs> interesting thing about, like, doing the test, they, like... They, like, stick, like, little, like, needle things in your arm to see how, if, like, if you get, like, hives. Anyway, so I also got blood work done. And then when they, the nurse or whatever doctor called me back about my results, I said, like, okay, what's the results of my, uh, my, my whatever, the test? And she says, well, it's on a scale of zero and one. And I said, okay, so what does one and zero mean? Zero means you're not allergic. One means you are. I'm like, okay, so what did I get? She's like, you got a hundred. I was like, What? Uh, excuse me? I was like, if I said the scale is one to zero. And she's like, yeah, you got like over a hundred. And I was like, the f what does that mean? And she's like, well, you're uh, extremely allergic. That's what that means. So, uh, yeah, you should probably uh, get some EpiPens, never touch eggs in your life, or uh, you won't have a good time. Thanks. It means you're super allergic, yeah, man. Listen, dude, someone's gonna someone's gonna show up and they're gonna egg me. I'm gonna be walking down the street and they'll be like, "Fuck you, I hate you, I hate your talk show." And I'm gonna get an egg and I'm gonna start melting like the the witch and the fucking the, the Wizard of Oz. I'm like, "No, I'm melting, no." You know, I'm gonna fucking melt. Just eggs? Not dairy? Yeah, just eggs. 
Yeah, so instead of having, you know what's, you know what's what? You know what? I can't have cake, but I can have ice cream cake, chat. And that's pretty poggers. You want to have some ice cream cake? Yo, ice cream cake is actually really good. Just so you know, you should try it. Next time it's your birthday or somebody's birthday, get ice cream cake. Don't get that cheapo shit. Get that good, get that good shit, you know? Yeah. Just chicken eggs? I don't know. I, I only tested just normal eggs. Like, I don't really, like... Uh, you guys don't understand, I'm the one who's allergic. Like, do I, like, want to willingly, like, poison myself and be like, yes, I can't have chicken eggs, but I can have duck eggs. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I don't care. Like, I haven't eaten anything in eggs in years. Like, I just don't give a fuck. Like, if I can actually eat duck eggs or, or goose eggs or whatever, I just don't care, okay? It means no brownies, no cookies. I basically just can't get fat, I'm be honest. It's like the anti-fat diet. I'm basically a fake vegan, honestly. Anyway, more questions. So I, had, I was explaining st stories about myself. This is an interview about happy thoughts. Any more questions you guys have for uh, for happy or for me? Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Holy shit, it's been an hour. But we'll still go for a bit longer. Did happy answer souvenir question? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I swear I wrote it. I read it, but I'll read it again. 2020 Olympics, New Year's charms, and magnets from my family. That's what Happy Thoughts said. Duck eggs might taste the same. Well, I'll say this. Okay, so when I'm allergic to eggs, anything that has egg in it, like mayonnaise or whatever, anytime I put it into my mouth, like, it may, like, just think of, like, the most horriblest thing that you probably have eaten your entire life. Like, it, like, it just tastes like actual shit. Like, whenever I eat something that has egg in it, my body's, like, spit that out right now or you're gonna fucking die and i'm like holy shit i better do what my body tells me so anytime i have something of egg in it, it just, it's just like oh like, like i just like out get out so yes anyway egg podcast yeah anyway more other questions that don't have to do with me and my egg allergy To both of you, what's your favorite Twitch such better Twitch.tv emote? So you're gonna you ready to far, farm some emotes? We're playing Farmville. We're farming. So what what was your favorite emote? My favorite tw better Twitch.tv emote for me, it's wife check. I think that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Happy jam. Happy yeah. I don't have happy jam enabled. For me, it's wife check. Where the fuck is Mark and Judah? What's happy allergy to? You. Has happy uh, had a chat with Soda about uh, doing talker stream? Talker cam? Yeah, so instead of you... Being on Soda stream, Soda will be on your stream, and it'll be a talker cam. So you roll reversal Uno card. Super. Oh, okay. Uh, Happy's uh, emote is super mega ultra hyper pog. What the fuck? What is oh, that? Oh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> That's okay. I can handle all of you at once. It's true, I can. Uh, Mermaider, thanks so much for the ride. I appreciate that. Pog, what are you? What are your, some of your favorite places in the world that you'd like to visit in the future? Yeah, because I never left my country. I left Canada. Um, where I would like to go that's not infested with coronavirus. Hmm. I don't know. Probably Europe. Like somewhere in I know Europe is entire place but like you can go on the train right what's the train called in europe where you can go all through like france and um germany and poland and all that places i like to do that at one point in my life uh he does not want to cam afec but he has talked and guessed it on my stream before he doesn't want to do the, the the cam talk i get you interrail euro rail Actually, I have a question for chat. So, 
How many people are here are from North America and how many people are from EU? To answer this question, type forehead or no, no, no. Type K Cone in the chat if you're from NA and type three head if you're an EU. I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> Holy shit, there's a lot of lads in here. What the fuck? Oi, lads. Oi, mates. From South America? Yeah, I know. I totally disregarded everyone that was from Asia and South America. I was just only... I cared about North America and, and uh, Europe. Sorry. What about other countries? What do you mean? They don't exist. Earth is flat. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh wait, is UK E? Oh, that's right, Brexit. Holy shit! I forgot. I think I forgot that was even a thing. Oh my god, that's right. Not even a part of the European Union. Just the two of us together. What about Mars? EU is a con is is a content too. Though, so it's still you. A also, hi. What's up? Oh, I might as well ask this, Happy. Do you have any questions for me? You can type them out. This is the chance. R Uno reverse card. And uh, ask me a question. I'll tell you anything. Anything. I'll be honest. Any Anything. Anything at all. This is the one opportunity. <laughs> EU is not a continent. It stands for European Union. That's some true thread. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn. Reverse the roles. Actually, while well, happy... All right, all right. Oh, sorry. Uh, who was your worst guest and why? Holy shit. I don't know if I can answer that question, because there technically is a worse guess. That person, uh, I want to say, because it's drama, it's so bad that um, I don't even know if I want to say. Because what they did is, well, what they did was uh, really bad stuff, like actually like illegal stuff, really bad. Yeah, it wasn't on my stream. It was they they on their own like they they they, exp they got exposed. It was really bad. But let's just say there is a particular individual who uh, I'm not going to mention names, but it was somebody that uh, faked cancer. Now you might be memeing and say someone else's name, but it's somebody from VR chat. They faked cancer. They uh, faked deaths in their family. They faked having coronavirus twice, and they used pity to get donations and subs. And they were on my talk show multiple times. I think that's the worst guest I ever had. And they'll never ever be on my show or stream ever again. Let's just say that. So, anyway. Uh, favorite guest then. My favorite guest. My favorite guest, it's tough for me to say because there's so many, right? And I don't want to just say, like, everybody else sucks or something, which is not true. But my favorite, like, interview I had uh, is uh, probably the one I had with maybe, like, I guess maybe Sears' interview with Sear or... Or uh, Nags21, you guys wouldn't really know who that was, but he's basically the first content creator. Uh, Nags21 was the first content creator of VR chat. Essentially, is like the godfather of VR chat, essentially. But I, I like a lot of different interviews. Um, Nags and James Key, um, Tim Mac. There's a lot of wonderful people that I have on. Sears Gray? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, how many of you guys did you watch uh, Sears roleplay in Among Us when he's like the old lady? He was like, <laughs> he was driving around. 
What the frick? What the frick happened here? <laughs> I did? That was amazing, yeah. Literally not muting. <laughs> was Raffle Gator a jerk back then? Uh, in what way? I don't think he is. I think he's just a really honest guy. Who is not about any bullshit. You know? That's basically it. Like, he's very blunt. And if you don't like him, then... Whatever. You know? He didn't like mutes back in the day. That's true. That's true. He actually didn't. I don't know if you knew that. Rob didn't really... like. It, I don't think it's not necessarily like hate mutes, but it was just kind of like... He was just like, why? But then he learned, you know? He changed his ways, you know? So, he, you know, don't judge people by their past, okay? Listen, he's a reformed man. He has two of his own mutes. He's living life. Like, what else can you say? You know? Yeah, now he's the king. To happy, what's something in VRT you don't like? Pet peeves? Oh, well, yeah, what's your pet peeves? Like, you said, like, obviously, security of the game, but, like, what else? If you could change one thing, this is uh, happy uh, asking me. If you change one thing about anything, what would it be? I'll just delete coronavirus. Easy clap. Vote me for president. I'll delete it. Hey, I'll be like, delete that fucking shit. C Control Alt Delete. Task Manager. Coronavirus. Get the fuck out. Delete that shit. Easy clap, you know? That's what I'm saying. My dude, there's worse things than Rona. True. True, but if I want to be president, I gotta, you know... I'm just can't. I can't be president. I'm Canadian, so I actually can't. I'm not, I'm not bored in America. That's the joke. Prime Minister. Yeah, I'll be Prime Minister, dude. Super loud people, basically. Oh, so, okay, so one of your pet peeves is super loud people. So, like... Uh... So, like, anyone that talks. I get it. Yeah, because they're loud. <laughs> you're looking at me like... I'm just joking, Okay. And I get what you're saying, though. Like, there there are some people that have, like, shitty mics. You get, you know, they got, like, the Walmart mic. It's 2020. People still got, like, the $2 fucking Walmart mic. Like, bust, like they got, like, the C920 fucking webcam mic. And I can burst my eardrums. Moxie. Figure. Any Moxers in the chant? Has Happy done RP in any game outside of VRChat? Now, while, while we wait for your answer, I want to tell you a story. Did you guys know that Vigors actually played VRChat three years ago? I, I'm reading, I'm saying the story because I, someone mentioned Vigors. And he was an interesting individual when I first met him. He was like, uh... <laughs> if you thought Train was bad in the past about the whole, like, Squad W stuff, <laughs> you didn't know about Vigors three years ago, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. He had a just imagine a, a, a classroom, and he was he was a, he was the teacher of the classroom. And he was telling why um, certain things are uh, bad. It was a interesting time. Yes, but he's reformed now, so not any major RP. No. Okay, I gotcha. Gotta be alpha as fuck across the board. Yeah. Didn't he get banned for that? Actually, no. So, see, uh, Vigorous was actually going to be banned. He was he was asked by literally the 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 devs of VR Chat that he was going to get banned, but he didn't. He skirted past it. He was like nope.jpg, and he fucking didn't get banned. But very close. If you think uh, Vigorous is bad, you should have seen him in his Black Desert days. Yeah, he told me stories about his Black BWO days. Yeah. Or, sorry, BDO days. I don't know why I said W.
What was it like finding out you're, you were partnered while live on stream? That's how I first knew of him. He still plays? Yeah, he still fucking plays that game. But you know what? He still plays that game. But at least he didn't spend like, what was it, like 800 or 1000 dollars like cutie? Holy shit, on Genshin Impact? Actually, didn't like Lucari spend like 5 grand on that game or something? Holy shit. My god. We spent like 5k in BWO. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I want to tell you something, chat. You know all these gotcha games, Genshin Impact, Azure Lane, uh, Epic 7, whatever? Put the camera on me. I mean, you need a close-up for this. This is very serious. I want to tell you something right now. Chat? Uh, hello? Thank you. Chat? All these gotcha games are pathetic and lame. You know what's better than all those games? VR chat. You don't want to know why? Because VR chat is literally a gotcha game. All these mutes, all these people that you meet, literally 90% of them are waifus. You friend them, you go on adventures with, literally VR chat is your own anime adventure. And literally all these people, like let's be real here, right? Soda Poppin' and Happy, Happy is like, you're like a five tier, five star S tier, like gotcha game. If you think about it, if you really think about chat, like think about it, VR chat, it's free. It's literally the ultimate gotcha game. You, like, Soda Poppin' is going to train you to do the worm, and you're going to fight other mutes. Listen, I'm going to announce it right now. There's going to be mute fights and mute battles, okay? You're going to have Happy versing other mutes live at some point in time, and they're, you're, you're going to evolve, and yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a thing. Five-star pull. Yeah, yeah. There's mute dance battles already? True. Uh, I'll come say hi after food. Okay, Pixel. I'm sorry, I, I can't get you in here. The, the, the invites are fucked. Like, I, I, the, the fix that I'll have to restart my game, you know, it's just, it's just VR chat, you know? What are your three top favorite arch type of avatars, like hack girls, anime characters, animals, or abstract ones? What's your three? Okay. I think the top three. Cat girls. Demon girls like Succubus. And uh, what's another good one? Uh, uh, fuck. Why is this so hard? What else is there? What else is there to say? Like, uh. I'm trying to think here. Dragon? Yeah, there you go. Thanks, chat. Dragon Girls. Dragon Girls, Succubuses, and Cat Girls are top three. I'm sorry, Wolf Girls. Cat Girls are in. Slime? Oh, my. Slime Girls are dope. Holy shit. Wait. If you really think about it, is there any Slime Girls? Oh, imagine... I should have gotten a Slime Girl as a personal mute. Oh, my God. That's top tier right there. Wolf and Fox girls? Listen, you guys don't understand. Everybody in this game is only a fox, okay? Everyone, it's, it's like, they're all, they're all like, they're, they're, they're like the most common thing, you know? Like, everyone's a fox. There's Wolf Boy E-Boys. Listen, okay, chat, there are people out there. They're, they're, they're the Wolf Boy E-Boys. They go to the Void Club, and if you talk shit, they'll, they'll be like, actually, you better not talk shit, because I'm going to send the Wolf Gang after you, the Wolf Pack after you. It's true, you know? They they got they all got tattoos. They got like a million piercings. They're they're always uh, every time they enter the lobby, it's like yo XX Slayer has entered the lobby, and they're just like they're fucking they're a bunch of floaters. They they don't they just use full body lay in front of the fucking mirror. And if you ever say anything to them, they're like, what'd you say to me, little bitch? Hmm? I'm gonna fucking crash your ass, dude. That's why I hate fucking wolf boys, dude. It's terrible. The mirror dwellers, yeah. I feel personally attacked. Oh well. 
The NWO is coming for your brother. Actual nerds? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'll destroy you. They'll be like, they're like, I have a custom client. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash you. And you're like, wow, dude. Uh, I was super surprised. Sorry, I, I missed. I didn't read this. I was super surprised and happy about getting partner, and I expected us to get denied first before getting close for partner. No happy. Twi the, the Twitch uh, gods themselves um, blessed you, and they were like, "Happy thoughts is a good person. We should give this person the check mark." It's true. What's a typical real life event you'd rather see in VR chat? A typical real life event I'd rather see? Um probably like an EDM concert. I mean they're they're cool in VR chat, but like you know. I see Sky City, you know? That'd be dope. Uh, it's almost, it's also 820, so we're gonna be wrapping this up within 10 minutes, just so you know. 10 minute warning chat. Dead Mouse concert in VR chat. Actually, Dead Mouse actually did play VR chat. That actually is a true story. He actually streamed it too. Um, even, um, you know, uh, you have to have 200 IQ, but Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland, he actually played VR chat too. But there's a funny story attached to that because. Justin Roiland denies he played VR chat, and there's a reason why he denies. Because Justin Roiland got really, really drunk, <laughs> and he played VR chat, and he said he he says he can't remember half the things he said. So he just says he just tells people, "I didn't play VR chat. That wasn't me. That was a fan account." And the reason why is because he's afraid that he may have said something really like Monka TOS, <laughs> which is really bad. But he did play. That's a, that's that's the PR answer. That's like, that's like, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I did not play, you know. You like Rick and Morty? Okay, it's, listen, Rick and Morty's it's poggers. You did not inhale VRC. That sounds like Justin. Oh, you got to show that sea walk. All right, yeah, you wanna you wanna see show off your sea walk skills. No, we put the we can put the camera over there. Like I, this is a whole studio. Yeah, look, look now it's on the couch. Now it's on widescreen. Look at this. Oh, your battery's dead. Listen, that's not the casting couch because the casting couch is black. Okay, not red or not blue. I'm gonna say red. I'm clearly colorblind. Okay, so nice try, chat. It's pretty late here. How do you know? Because obviously I run the casting couch. Do what the fuck you mean, bro? Come on. Yeah, Elzo's in front of a fucking window where like a million people are watching, dude. What kind of show is this, dude? What do you mean? <laughs> Easy clean off. Yeah, absolutely. Me feet are gone on the on the close up, haha, <laughs> on stream. Oh, I meant like we we can change the camera angle to be on the stage and you just stand back, like it. Yeah, you want to do it? I mean. Listen, I already got all this stuff set up. We can we can zoom and enhance. We can do a 360 around you too. We can make the camera spin around you as you dance. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, uh, change the camera to uh, curtains is what's called. And then you just stand behind where the uh, star is. There you go. See, we can see your feet. So you can stand like uh, you can look if you look up. That's where the TV is, and you can see how far away. Also, close the curtains, please. There we go. I don't have any music, but you can play some jams. 
The star isn't centered. Yeah, I just like to trigger OCD people. What? Don't worry about it. Look, we got the 360 cam. Look, 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 look we got the 360 cam. Alright, Happy, you're gonna do the sea walk? Oh, this is so good. I wish there was music. Just pretend chat. Just open up a new tab and just literally play some music. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! That was so good. God, I wish music was... Oh, man. Anyway, you can sit back down. We're gonna wrap up. <laughs> Do the worm. I don't know if you want to do the world, it's up to you. No, that's okay. Anyway, chat. Yeah, you need to go to bed, I understand. So, uh, we're gonna wrap up here. Is there anything you would like to say, Happy? I'll, I'll read anything you write. Like, like finishing statements, closing statements, be like, hey guys. It's been nice. 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 Yo, thanks for the 10 bits. Yeah, once uh, when ha Happy uh, finishes writing, I'll, uh, I'll I'll close up here, gamers. But hope you guys enjoyed the interview. You guys like this interview stuff? I this is what I do, by the way. My name is Iwan Rebel. I interview people in VR chat. I also run avatar showcases like uh, fashion shows in VR chat, and uh, I'm gonna be doing like improv nights, talent shows, stuff like that. Happy Thoughts says, "Thank you all for coming to watch. Stay amazing, all of you." Uh, was that say all of you happy kiss world hold on yeah next showcase by the way Halloween October 31st 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time literally going to be like 50 people on that stage where happy was and they're going to be showcasing their avatars literally like a fashion show and they're going to be doing some crazy stuff uh, with their avatars maybe we'll see happy there I don't know it's up to her if she's available. And then also we're going to be doing more interviews and stuff like that. Maybe I'll interview Kanoa next. I don't know. Who do you guys want me to interview next? Just throw out some names. I'll, I'll, I'll get my agent on it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll slide in their DMs. Walter, me, Soda. My mom. Pff, dude, I already talked to your mom last night. <laughs> dude, what are you talking about? Interview Vegas, uh, Kanoa got him. <laughs> Cringy jokes. That's up to Soda. If Soda actually wants to be interviewed, that's up to him. The offer is here. The offer is on the table. If he wants to be interviewed by me, he knows where he can find me. Will Neff? Okay. Me? Maybe. We'll see, gamers. We'll see. Murder Crumpet? I actually interviewed Murder Crumpet once before, a long time ago. But anyway, um, I'd like to say again, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much for happy thoughts. Everybody, spam some hearts in the chat. Happy happy love in, in the chat for uh, happy thoughts for stopping by. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Thanks so much for all the follows. Thank you for everything, guys. I really do appreciate it. 
Uh, I'll see you guys more than likely tomorrow or another day when I have another interview. Um, if you haven't already, hit that follow button to get to know when I go live. Um, love every single one of you. And uh, we're going to go raid somebody. Give somebody some love in the chat. Do you have any suggestions, Happy, who I should raid? If not, I'll just raid someone from VR chat and give somebody a, a big host, you know? Some small streamer. We all need to pick? Alright, I'll pick. One second here. Oh yeah, before you go, I have to take we have to take a selfie together. Hold on. I'm I'm not trying to attack 